Hey guys, this video is for you if you have a weirdo manager who likes to see you doing the work rather than valuing the work that's getting done. And uh, uh, in, in fact, if you work for such an organization or for such a boss, it's probably a good time to find a different job. Okay, um, normally a good manager values the work and they look at, okay, is the work being done or not? And unfortunately, if you are being evaluated by how long the green thing turns on, your status is green, then uh, here is a quick trick. And uh, if you are flat out unethical and if you are not doing your work at all and you're trying to trick, then you're not gonna get far in your life. So don't think that you're smart enough to kind of trick your managers by doing these kind of little things. But I'm gonna show you how you can automate the mouse on your Windows system so uh, so uh, the status stays green, okay? This is for those of you with a horrible boss. Now, for those of you who are looking for mouse movement because a program gets timed out, for example, Google Colab, uh, occasionally it may time out, and if you just want the mouse to be going somewhere, just moving in the screen, then this is a good video that summarizes that. And this is gonna be a very short video because it takes only a few lines of code and you do not need any Python skills at all because I'm gonna give you the Python code, but you need to know how to install your local Python environment and run this, uh, run this code. Okay, and with great power comes great responsibility, so do not misuse this power. And I assume you're all very ethical when it comes to, uh, when it comes to uh, using your code, whether it is traditional Python code or deep learning, ethics are very important, otherwise you will not get far in your professional career. Okay, with that warning, let me just go ahead and jump into my IDE. And I'm using Spider IDE, it doesn't matter. You can run this from the command line, this code, it doesn't matter, but I'm using Spider IDE for now and my Python version is 3.7.11. And for this specific program, I'm going to use PyAutoGUI. You can you do this a few other ways, but this is the best way. So let me go ahead and install, pip install. I haven't done that yet on my system. So let's learn this together. Okay, so as soon as you hit, I put the exclamation because that uh, simulates me doing this from the command prompt. So I'm installing PyAuto GUI and it should be done it pretty quickly. And then we'll go through each line here and understand exactly what it does. Okay, it took more than a few seconds for whatever reason, maybe it was uh, trying to connect to the network, but anyway, it's done within a fraction of a second once, it's, uh, once it started uh, installing. Uh, installing this library. So once the library is installed, first thing, we need to make sure that it is installed correctly. So let's go ahead and import it. There you go, that's good. And uh, pyautogui.size will give you the size of the screen that you're working with. Mine, I believe is 1920 by 1080, there you go. So it's doing a good job right now, yeah? So let me, let's try move to. Let's do this step by step. I commented these out because you don't need that for you know for your regular uh, use, but I just want to show you that okay, when I do move to 100 by 100, it goes 100 down, 100 here, and then somewhere around here, it stops there, and it does that movement. It takes one second to do that, so that's the delay in the movement. So let me go ahead and click that. You see how the mouse actually went from right there to right here and it took one second. So that's what pyautogui.move actually does, uh, move to, sorry, and this is exactly what we are going to use uh, to automate this process. So let me go ahead and first of all, uh, comment that out. And the next thing I would like to show you is, I hope you know what random is. And again, I have a bunch of videos on my channel if you're interested in uh, in uh, Python basics, machine learning, deep learning, but I did cover a topic about random, so please go ahead and search that on my channel. So first of all, let me go ahead and import a library called NumPy, and uh, I am going to use random.randint, meaning generate a random integer between values zero and 1919, because my the width is 1920, so it goes from zero to 1919. Same with my height. So I'm going to generate a random width and random height. So when I do that, so it will generate a random width, random height uh, position. So in this case, it gave me 227 by 104. So now if I just run this line, it takes my mouse to that specific random location. Let's generate another random and then run this one more time. There you go. 
Now it generated a different random and then it moved to a different location. Let's do this one more time and then jump on to what we are trying to do. See, now it came down to this location, yeah? So this is exactly what we are trying to do. Let me comment all of those again. And now let's put that in a loop. So it does it until you stop the, the program. So first let's import time, why? because we need to put some delay. You don't want this process to be continuous all the time. You don't want it to be doing all. So let's say if your uh, Microsoft Teams times out in five minutes, so maybe that would be like five minutes. This is in seconds, yeah? This is five seconds. So change that to 300 or something. So this time is up to whatever the time uh, you want the program to sleep and then come back up and do something. And I'm putting this in a while loop. So while true means obviously it's true. That's the condition, it's true all the time. While true, go ahead and do the following stuff, okay? And do what? Get a random width, get a random height, and move the mouse to that random width and random height, and sleep for five seconds, and do this again. Let's do this, let's run this. Let me go ahead and do that. So it moved to this location, and let's give it five seconds, it moves somewhere else. Let's give five seconds, it moves somewhere else. Obviously, in your case, you don't want to do this every five seconds. You want to do this uh, whenever, whatever the frequency that you require for your program to show you as uh, a live status, like green status, or for your collab to not time out, or whatever the reason that you may have. And please use this responsibility, uh, responsibility, responsibility, sorry, I'm uh, struggling to find words. Uh, the intention is not to cheat your employer. The intention is to uh, make sure that uh, you put in your work and you show your work and you're not appreciated and you're valued based upon how long you stay on your, uh, uh, you know, alive or active, whether you get the work done or not. So I'm counting on your ethics eventually. I'm just showing you the tricks and tools and it's up to you how you would like to use this. Thank you guys and I hope you really enjoyed uh, learning about this little trick and uh, this will keep doing moving the mouse until I go ahead and come back and stop the program. See you guys in the next video.